Scorpio, hi and welcome to your reading. How does this person feel about you? This is a timeless and a general love tarot reading that's meant for everybody. For people in a relationship and for singles that have someone in their mind. Sun, Moon and Rising, Scorpio. Sun, Moon and Rising, Scorpio. Oh, look, we've got something already. I'll take it. Ten of coins turning for you. Well, um, very good energy here, Scorpio. Well, um, you found a key to this person's heart. That's how they see you. They treasure you. Because you found the key to this person's heart. That might be vice versa. Okay, we've got more. We've got two of swords, the tower and ace of wands here. Okay, well, we are ready. I didn't even cut the deck, but that's okay. Well, I'll take these. They really wanted to come out. Um, Scorpio energy as well here with the tower. Let me just see. They don't want to acknowledge something. Um, they don't want to acknowledge that you have a key to their heart and it feels incredible. This Ace of Wands and Ten of Pentacles. This feels incredible. This feels passionate and um, really alive again but this person doesn't want to Scorpio this person doesn't want to see that that's the case there are no caps here but um, I really feel that this is just <laughs> Kind of trying to say no, 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 that's not the case, you know, no, 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 no. I'm not in, you know, Scorpio, yeah, I liked him, but um, that's the two of swords. But in fact, this person, it's like, um, they know how, you know, you know, um, how to say things, how to do things. They, everything ticks, you know. Whenever I'm around this person, you know, it, they tick all my boxes. They found the key to my heart. Um, with the tower, I'm also getting that, um, your person doesn't not only want to acknowledge that you know um, you know how to make them happy you know um, you know <laughs> the key is the symbol here I'm really strongly drawn to this but, um, it, and it's not only that this person doesn't want to acknowledge that, but also the fact that the tower is a major arcana. It's, it's a fairly big energy. Um, and it does, you know, make me feel that this person also is aware that if, that there is something that um, would have to be knocked down and rebuilt completely. You know, this is how it feels. I really don't feel that this is something sudden um, that is, you know, made presence in your life, Scorpio. I actually quite, I feel the other way around. I feel that you know, the two of swords, it's significant, like, there is, there is passion here. 
and, and not only passion, but it's also this, the, the, the ones stand for this, this energy that drives life forward, okay? It's such an action-driven energy. And the Ten of Pentacles as well, you know, this is, there is a strong indication of like treasure. You know that this person knows that you are like a piece of diamond, you know, such a rare piece of, um, you know, stone. You don't find these everywhere, yet this person is trying to just avoid admitting it to themselves. And it's, it's, it's causing just some sort of stalemate here. I wonder why do they... <laughs> Could be Libra as well. Why why does this person, why Scorpio's person doesn't want to see that, you know, Scorpio is everything. <laughs> okay, uh, the Empress. Um, well, either this person is really, uh, I actually feel that that's the case. No matter if you are a man or a woman, this person is um, see sees you this way as the empress. They know that there is only one empress. There's only one you, one of a kind. And I kind of feel that this person is like this is too good to be true. Scorpio, Scorpio is too good to be truth. Scorpio is too good to be truth. There must be some sort of flaws here. Scorpio is too good to be truth. It feels incredible. I have energy that drive me, you know, forward. But I have the I have a feeling that this person is, is having some sort of self-doubts, you know, like, because this is you. This is how this person sees you, and they are like, this is too good to be truth, yeah. They see you as someone very abandoned, confident, creative, um, doing very well for themselves. Yet, they don't want to acknowledge that, you know. They don't need to look for anything else. They found you. Very interesting. Very interesting. Scorpio. Who is this person? Why did I not... <laughs> I mean, if you have someone incredible in your life, then why are you pretending they're not incredible? It doesn't make sense. I'm going to clarify, okay. I'm going to clarify the tower. Tell me more, tower, please. Why is the tower here for Scorpio? Why? Why these adjustments? Why these... Something would have to be rebuilt. And this person, like, seriously from the start, from scratch. Why? This person is really... Um, why is the tower here? Someone's really tired. Ten of Wands. So the the Ten of Wands is um, clarifying the Tower. I feel um, I feel someone is not really ready to accept that. Yeah, these adjustments would have to happen, and then um, this would be smooth sailing. But 
until that you know happens and they allow for for something to completely just collapse and so that it could be rebuilt Scorpio I'm sorry I had to pause and change my battery um, so let's ask now for this person's um, intentions Yeah, this person knows that you are a very, very special piece of jewel. The Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. I'm drawn here to the key and, you know, those shiny pieces that look to me, sorry, um, as jewels. And this is it. I am really getting that your person sees you as someone very incredible. Like a absolutely incredible piece of... <laughs> diamond and they you know they're very passionate uh, about the situation um they don't want to acknowledge this though there's some sort of uh, level of self-doubt i think around this person um and also you know i feel this person's have kind of had enough with a ten of wands um meaning that it feels just that these changes the ten of wands clarifies the tower this person feels that these changes that the tower is talking about um rebuilding and knocking something down uh, um i don't know relationship situationship it's it's literally impossible this person's like this is unachievable this isn't possible and i feel they straight back, go back to this, uh, that, that's too good to be truth. And the two of swords, sort of, like, I don't want to see it. Um, so, yeah, this is quite interesting. Well, let's ask them, what intentions does this person have towards you, Scorpio? I, I, I feel that they have really, like, there are no caps here, but they see you as the Empress and Ten of Coins and, you know... They feel really passionate about this. There, there is an ace here, ace of wands. Um, Self-doubt around this person. We've got a magician here. Okay. Intentions for Scorpio. Please show me. Okay, now these energies are totally flying. Uh, doesn't happen too often. I have a very good grip of my cards, but they are flying. We've got justice, both major arcana, excuse me, intentions for Scorpio. What are this person's intentions? I mean, they want to do things right. Look, ace of soul, ace of wands again, excuse me. The justice and magician. This is really, this person is really heavily invested with magician. You know, mag magician has on the table the wand, the sword, the, the cap and the pentacle. Uh, to me, this person is involving, invested in this situation on the emotional level, on the intellectual level. They communicate somehow. They may be communicating all their feelings and intentions towards you. Um, the pentacle, to me, it's, it's this person's time that they uh, engage with you. Because pentacles are very um, solid energy. So for me, you know, time is the solid energy. Um, the time that they spend with you. They are heavily invested in this situation with you. We've got all major arcana. There's hierophant here. Boy. Yet this person doesn't want to acknowledge that, you know, you are like this person that they never thought they'll find. The justice, they really want to do things the right way. There's the fairness that comes across here. Fairness, doing things the right way, not not slowing down, not rushing, um, not doing things behind people's back, doing it the right way, okay? We've got Ace of Wands here twice. I, I mean, I really feel that this person has an intention to step in and, and 
and step in and actually do something about the situation with you. We've got two of swords, which is a stalemate, which is momentum when the, nothing happens. But having both magician and the ace of wands here again, I really feel that the intention here is to take control of the situation and act on it. One their action, okay? So there is something that will come out soon. Like there is some sort of, I would say action and um, maybe communication as well. And if, if that's the case, then I feel you should be able to recognize through this person's actions, what are their intentions. And believe me, I feel this person's completely heavily invested in this situation. I mean, Ten of Pentacles and a Magician. Ten of Pentacles stands for stability, but this, this, this foundational... Um, stability and this le legacy that you built with the special person and we've got a hierophant you know in the romantic love reading um, in the intention sort of question this is a straightforward you know long-term commitment it could be marriage on this person's um, look I've got judgment flipping I'm just they know they have to make a really important decision, judgment. It's it's calling to make a decision. And I feel that this person is um, definitely going to get out of this. Because we have um, a lot of action energy here to Ace of Wands. So, so we will definitely move out of this. I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to see it. I... They are too good to be true. Scorpio is too good to be true. Again, this is an empress, but it also applies to a man if you're a man watching this. And uh, this is a general reading. The the magician is someone who's um, definitely looking to invest all their um, elements that I spoke about in this situation they are invested and they are going to use both communication emotion pentacle to me this is time that they want to um, they want to allow time and definitely uh, spring into action with with both wands here ace of wands so i feel that uh, We've got, oh, look at that, judgment came back. Okay, well, that was uh, meant to happen. This person is intending to make a, a, a big decision about the situation with you and make those adjust, adjustments that the tower is talking about. Something this person is fearing, you know, this person feels with the Ten of Wands that... Um, Whatever needs in your situation, in your romantic connection with this person, whatever needs rebuilding, and this is this is an energy of um, you can't avoid that, um, and the reason why this has to be um, something has to be completely demolished. Um, simply because it wasn't built on the right foundations and it would never be able to survive. So your person is dreading, dreading with this ten of wands, feeling this isn't possible to rebuild this, um, this situation between us or th this aspect of this, this relationship between you two. They, they are dreading this, um, but they, they really know that they have found the one, I mean, the Empress for me, and the Emperor in a reading is essentially the one, okay? Queens are kings, queens, yeah, that's a very important person, especially if I have a um, queen and a queen, queen and a king from the same suit. But an empress, an emperor, and an emperor in the reading, that's the one, okay? So they know they have found the one. 
they're just dreading these adjustments and they know the judgment is a calling to make a decision an important decision an important adjustment i'm coming back to the tower because that's what it relates to and they are intending to do it i love to see the magician and the ace of wands here again because it's a very strong message for me that this person will have the energy to act on the situation and actually pull it through these these decisions that they will be making they want you for long term for a long term commitment they want they are not there to vanish and ghost you and they definitely want to do it the right way this time they are dreading the the rebuilding the deconstructing of whatever has to be deconstructed between you two they are dreading this with the two of swords right next to the tower okay um i need another deck because i'm going to all right um let's ask now for well as usual what is this person going to do for the next couple of weeks what are this person's next steps or actions towards scorpio or in this situation now we have strong libra here scorpio virgo taurus um and yeah that's it Please, Sarah, show me the energies. What is this person going to do for the next couple of weeks? Like, what are this person's next steps in this situation or towards Scorpio? Are they going to acknowledge that Scorpio is the one? Are they going to communicate something? Will the adjustment, will they be making moves towards these adjustments, that tower that has to be you know approach to you gotta rebuild this all right let's do it for scorpio please this person's next steps or actions that will take towards scorpio or in this situation please two of swords again <laughs> oh boy five of wands Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles, okay. They will work. They will work, but they, they just need... Um, two of Swords. It's a strong message um, in your reading, Scorpio. Your person... I mean, the reason why I'm going to talk about self-doubt is because... I have this. Your person knows you're the one. But I don't want to acknowledge that. Why? Because there is something in them that makes them doubt that you, they deserve you. They did deserve that best, you know. You are the best. Okay, so with that said here, all right, I like my energies here. Um, I feel the five of wands, it's clear that this person will have an internal conflict um, in around all what we have said. Because of the two of swords, this, uh, this energy lingers for the next couple of weeks and they will they will try to battle themselves with the five of wands simply because you know they they realize they know but they don't want to know we got nine of cups and three of pentacles i feel this person you know the five of wands for me is like this internal battle because they know they have to step forward the three of pentacles talk, talks about cooperation you know working with you on the tower on anything else that's there to achieve this nine of cups to to make step towards being in a position of feeling on top of the world being happy okay 
So I see this person um, in an inner conflict with themselves simply because they have some sort of self-doubt about deserving you in a life or the fact that they just find that you are too good to be truth. There is another chest here with, with treasure, just like here, the Nine of Cups. I feel this person is clearly going to be battling themselves for the next couple of weeks. But the, the, the Three of Pentacles at the end, it's telling me, and you know, we've got the, the Ace of Wands here twice. They are intending to act on this situation, on, on the... the at least on the aspect of acknowledging that you are the one and then let's get on with the changes that have to happen for us to to move to the next level okay so the three of pentacles for me um it's it's them definitely delivering if you are guys together you will see them trying to cooperate with you there is not much communication here and the two of swords is twice and it's the stalemate energy um i would say that there's something about communication between you two scorpion this person um that is something that jumps at me here because I don't have too many swords that would make me feel that, that there is some the communication I mean the verbal communication between people is it's a key like I don't know how well you know each other no matter what if you know each other five seven fifteen years you don't know what's sitting in your person's head or it's what's sitting in your person's heart until they spit it out, until they spell it out, and in other words, until they say it. And I am kind of getting that you may not realize that your person is having this battle inside them about accepting the fact that you are everything that they've ever wanted, and they don't also communicate that I do believe that this person is realizing who they have in front of them. I'm showing the Empress saying that they know that they have met the one. And in the intention they are showing this one, two, three, four major arcana. I mean... I want to just say that there's something about communication that makes me feel should be better in order for you to be able to understand your person and where they are at better of course that's a logical thing right i'm not a genius here but i feel somehow communication will help your person to come forward into that three of pentacle three pentacles energy meaning the cooperation because they want to cooperate and I also feel that your person's really um, putting you up on a pedestal. That's another thing. You are the empress for them. Okay. So I, I rarely do it, but I'm going to say it. On your side, I would use communication, meaning talk to your person and see if, you know, your conversation will help them get through here from here two of swords i don't want to deal with it to here we are in a team we are we are working on it together okay i don't know if that makes sense but there's there are no many swords here so i'm getting a message of you know as i said it's not a genius uh, advice uh, folks <laughs> if you don't talk to your person if you don't allow yourself to be vulnerable and and you don't create an environment where your person feels vulnerable enough to be able to to talk about 
that they may feel that they don't deserve you. Because that's how I see it. They see you as the empress. They know you found the key to their heart. Um, they put you up on a pedestal. So dope. Okay, let's pull some oracles. Well, this person wants you for, for a long term commitment relationship. Let's not... I don't see anyone here. This person is like, my eyes are on you, Scorpio. Just to make it clear. Okay, please just one for Scorpio. This one. I love you like no other. And well, I know that. That's your... <laughs> okay, I hope you know that too, Scorpio. There you go. They are totally in love. What's this? Lost without you. There you go. I think, I mean, you need to talk to your person. I really feel here there's not much communication and your person is tangled in their own inner battlefield about do do I deserve Scorpio or they are too good to be true, that's not possible, I, this could never happen to me, this is the Five of Pentacles, the inner conflict, no, I'm not gonna, no, this, I can't have this with Scorpio, I can't build life with them. Whatever, as I said, they feel that the adjustments, the, 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 the thing that has to collapse and be rebuilt, it's unachievable. They are, they are dreading approaching this tower moment, this, this tower situation or whatever aspect that is. Okay, I'm repeating myself. Astrology, 12 house, of course. That's a <laughs> hidden staff. Okay, we've got everything here. Subconscious. Um, this is the house in um, 12th house in natal chart. It's a Neptune in Pisces. It could be dealing with Pisces as well. All things hidden. Limiting beliefs. Self-sacrifice. Okay, healing. Um... I think there is something in your in your person, Scorpio, twelve house, that is pulling them um, into this uh, limiting beliefs. You kind of can't make that up. I really believe there is some sort of self doubt around your person. And they feel that they can't have you, this cannot be truth, you can't you know, you can't possibly want them. There is some self-doubt. And a 12th house in natal child, it's if there are planets there in your person's house, this is what makes them feel that there are hidden enemies. Um, it really makes me feel that this is about that, your person's house. Whatever they have in the 12th house, and I feel that oracle refers to that. The third house. Communication! Ta da Did I not talk about it? Yeah, in our natal chart, the third house governs communication, siblings, short distance travel, but this is what I was talking about. I'm missing swords here, guys. There is something about you guys that you, you your communication has to get better. No one I love this brain. No one knows who's in what's in my brain. I don't know what's in. Do you know what I mean? We can't read each other, no matter how intuitive we are. We cannot rely on only on the intuitive part. We need to talk, and we need to create an environment in, in a relationship that allows both people to feel safe. To be able to talk about if there is self doubt, if there is anything, you know, you people can you know, talk talk through it. Um, the six health in natal chart. This one deals with everyday chores, everyday work routines, everyday routines. Um, it's a Virgo here again. We have Gemini, Pisces. We have Virgo here too. I feel um much more about this suitcase. 
there's something related to work. You guys work together, you met through work, etc. Scorpio, this is all that I have for you today. Talk to your person. Um, I, I never give advice. Hardly ever. Talk to your person. Communicate. Um, it will help them get out of the two of swords and you will see them as the as your team teammate and they'll work with you on that situation. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, Scorpio, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If this resonates, leave a comment. Um, all the best, Scorpio, and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye for now.